Welcome guys to Crazy Tutorials Lesson 3. In this lesson we're gonna discuss about combo box and list boxes. So let's click let's start with clicking on the new project. I'm gonna name it Lesson 3. Here's our form for this project. I'm gonna use a combo box, a level Also, oops, I'm sorry, a uh, list box and also a button. Okay, let me place this nicely. Okay. So first, select the button 1, let me change the text properties of this button, I'm gonna name it Submit, also I'll copy uh, another level and put it here, I'm gonna name this level, you have selected and <coughs> I'm gonna select this level 2 there is another no, property that is auto size if you make it false then you can actually adjust the size of it so I'll make it a little bit bigger and I will delete the text properties of it because I don't want anything to say okay let's uh, name something name those stuff so first I'm gonna make I'm gonna name it button actually submit pdn also this one is result pdn this list box one it's okay and the combo box one is okay because there are only uh, one in each area so anyway this combo box and list box are kind of same because they are uh, both uh, stores a list of item in their collection so if 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 uh, for example like if I select the checkbox and there if we go to items and there we can see the collection it's same in the list box here I'm sorry uh, here is the same so like if I select the combo box and go down and if I click this little button here it will open up this uh, string collection editor um, we can actually type it here like I'm gonna type it floor 1 enter floor 2 so I'm, I just uh, insert 2 string here just press OK and if I debug it, as you can see here, floor 1 and floor 2 has been added here. Uh, all that from the start, uh, I want this text to say floor 1 because or else it will look odd. Or maybe select a roof floor or something. So anyway, actually I'm making select a floor yeah. Uh, for list box, uh, wait a sec. For list box, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, add items with um, and list box with the codes. So just double click on the form to get the form one load event. Just type here the list box name, which is list box one. 
dot it's our item property so item dot we're gonna add items so add and the parentheses here type um room one okay <coughs> I'm gonna copy this test 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 okay enough I guess <coughs> so room two room three and room four four rooms let's debug it and as you can see four room has been added <coughs> um now uh, double click on the submit button uh, I, uh, when the submit button is clicked I want this to check if the combo box which is combo box 1 dot text equals floor 1 right now um, right now the combo box text is select a floor which is not floor one obviously so when combo box text equals floor one then so else if combo box one dot text equals floor two then so if combo box dot text equals floor one something will happen here and if the floor two is selected then something will happen here okay now um, here I want it to uh, check if list box list box one dot selected index equals zero which is selected index means is if I debug it as you can see it's room one room two room three and room four so for the for the zero index it will be room one for the one index it will be room two for the two index it will be room three and the three index it will be room four so when the zero is selected I want the result um I'm sorry I guess uh, if I select this oops I should make it a txt because it's a text so um go here and result.txt.text equals I want it to say um you have selected room one which is index zero and else if list box one dot selected index equals one then result txt dot text equals room two perfect so uh, it's saying just when the floor one is selected in combo box then check if the room one is selected then if it is selected then if it is selected the index 0 is selected then say and result that room 1 is selected and if the room uh, index 1 is selected and uh, list box then say room 2 is selected or else say like m with the message box say wrong floor or something yeah else if if load 2 is selected then just copy and paste this here and make this oops uh, 
Okay, I'll make this two and three and three and four. Okay, so yeah, so let's taste it. So if I select the floor one and press submit, it is saying room one. If I select the room two while selected the floor one, it will say room two. But if I select the wrong floor, if I press submit, it's saying wrong floor. So now room floor two is selected. If I select the uh, room three, it will say room three and room four. But if I s select the wrong room, it will say wrong floor. So that's how you have to work with list box and combo boxes i hope you like this tutorial uh need to ask anything or if you uh give me some suggestion about these videos i'm gonna make a uh, lots of videos so please subscribe and i uh, i will meet you in the next tutorial thank you